hundreds of these little sand crabs. Let's see if I can zoom in on them for you. I can't see them. See them? There's one right there. See all these things crawling around here? They're all sand crabs. And as you walk, let's see if I can find him again. They'll run into their holes. Alright, I've got the bait again. Truck's way over there, monkey went, bless her heart. This is a boat ramp way over there. So we parked over there. We was going to go out on a pier that is out over there, but way too many people. So, you know, we parked as a crow flies that way. And we walked down here and then down into here in this little spot. So, oh, there's a crab over there by the tackle box. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Right there in the corner. shaking. There he is. Pretty cool, huh? They're so fast. See? There he goes. He's going. <laughs> Looking for a hole to get into. I don't know if you can use these for bait or not. Oh, well, I don't know if you're allowed to. Oh, there's Monkey. Here she comes through the mangroves here. There she is. Thank you, monkey. She remembered her hat this time. I had to hear all last trip how she forgot her hat and then she had to hear how I lost my pool. But yeah, there's there's hundreds of these crabs, man. Pretty cool. All right. Okay, here's a better view of them crabs. There's my fishing rod. Check them out. Thousands of them. You can hear them. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, those would be easy to catch. Pretty neat. Hey guys, I got a fish on here. Monkey already caught the first fish. He caught a blue cat. This one feels pretty good. I don't know what you guys are seeing, I just kind of had to... Check it out. Oh, let me bring him in here. This is a snapper. Oh, you got a snapper? Yeah. You might want to get a shot of this. Hang on a second, guys. Here. Hold on, my rod. I gotta be careful with this one. Yeah. Oh, he's a good size. Look, see, he's got fangs. Yeah. Can you Ooh. see his fangs? Yeah, I see his fangs. Ooh, I got one. Ooh, <laughs> I have to go. All right, monkey's got one. She keeps going. I lost him. Oh no. She's got one. Oh, I got one. Okay. 
she thinks she's got one. Yep, I got one. I, I got don't know what you guys are seeing here. What'd you get, cat? Yeah. Okay, hang on. He's a really tiny. He's smaller than the other one. There we go. I don't know if you can see his fangs there. Okay, guys. Nice little snapper there. there. Right. The neighbor still got his, and I got one too. Turn him loose and I'll be back with you. See his teeth? I don't know if you can see him or not. I have to work harder for it, I guess. Okay, another one on here. Doesn't feel very doesn't feel very big. Catfish. Yeah. All right, it's two to two. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Come here. Come here. Okay. He got me. Band-aids in the truck. I'll be right back. All right, two to two. That's how they horn you. Guys, got another one here. Another catfish. Another catfish that's going to horn me again. Three to two, but monkey's not even in the water, so. Uh, there we go, another one. There you go, after he hurt his hand. Hopefully he won't hurt it this time. They're little feisty little things, aren't they? Yep. It's not illegal, it's legal. I said legal. Yeah, but it sounded like you said illegal. He's, uh, what did I say he was, 13? Yeah. 13 guy, inches. The guy gave it to him. Yeah, some guys on a boat said, hey, that's that guy. Yeah. I was like, or I heard something about that guy over there, and I was like, oh, shit. And they started turning this way. Yeah. I thought, oh, man. And they was like, you want to fish? I said, what you got? They said, mangrove snapper? Yeah. I said, yeah, throw him up here. Cool. Try to do yeah, I got another fish on here, guys. Yeah, it's about as big as your first one, maybe a little smaller than your first one. That's four, four to two. Okay guys, so this is the mangrove snapper that those gentlemen gave me. So we're gonna, I'll just show you how I do one side of it and then just gonna get back here behind the gill. I'll go like that and then follow this down.
Then we're going to cook him up. Right, Mama? Yep. Let's go right down the rib cage. First time I use this knife and it's not very sharp, so no. the one I caught was not quite this big, so it might have just barely made it maybe. guys they'll just go ahead and fry that up like that with the skin but I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this fillet out you don't have to but I'm gonna let this soak in salt water for a few minutes it kind of takes away the blood and, but there it is nice fillet this is a I mean you you could two people could eat off this but normally to me this is a one person meal here so I'm gonna get the other side done and then we'll throw them in the pan all right mama okay okay so quick and easy I got some flour in here uh, shoot, sorry I would like to make some beer batter but I don't have any beer so I'm gonna take a little bit of this crab boil not a lot though just a little bit of it. I'm going to take some lemon pepper. Just like that. Some fresh ground sea salt that I harvested from the sea while we was out there. Right, monkey? Yeah. And put it in this fancy thing so it looks like a store bought. And monkey's laughing because she knows I'm bullshitting. There's some lowry season salt. Again, like I always say, just put in what you want. I don't have any lemon. Lemon's really good. And uh, get some cayenne pepper here. Lemon juice? Yeah, do we have any lemon juice? I might have some lemon juice in the fridge. There we go. Now I'm just going to take a whisk. I'm going to whisk this up, just like this, pretty much it. Now, I'm going to take our fish directly out of the salt water. <laughs> Every time I do something like a monkey laugh, but when she does it, she'll be like, stop laughing at me. That ain't funny. <laughs> So, uh, I do like to cook it some butter, but I think that's all the butter we have, so. Is it? Yeah, because I used the last uh, stick yesterday on the, uh, oh my God. on the uh, mashed potatoes. All right, so, that's okay. We're going to use olive oil. I'll bring you over to the pan, the skillet. Here we go. Okay, guys, so, Monkey was just doing such in her video. And check, make sure it's hot enough. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, you want it about 350 degrees, 375 tops. A lot of guys will tell you 400. Nah. Should have been a little bit hotter than that, but it'll be fine. And we're just going to brown them up until they're brown on both sides. And uh, once this gets up temperature, it only just take just a couple minutes minutes on each side. Um. <clears throat> And a lot of people 
we'll add the lemon juice now a lot of people wait until it's done and put it on a plate and then add their lemon juice doesn't really matter all that does is get rid of the fishy flavor but uh, I got something blinking on this thing so um, memory card oh crap I got four minutes okay I'll kick you back on here in a minute guys okay uh, I'm just turning this on long enough so you can We'll flip these. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's been about, what, three minutes? Not very long. Yeah, about three minutes, and that's what you come up with. Depends on, you don't want to overcook them, because then they'll get they get kind of tough. But, uh, um, you know, it, it just depends on how you like the fish, I guess. Uh, All right. You got about three minutes per side, so let's check it out when we get done. Okay, guys, as you can see, Monkey's recording. This is my foot long. Uh, Coney dog from uh, Coney Island. Mm -hmm. We took a cruise up to New York while we was out and come back real quick. And <laughs> so I'm gonna get Monkey a fork. I did not film that cut, taking it all out of the pan, but just take it out of the pan, put it on a plate. So Monkey's gonna try it and see if she likes it. Beer batter is always a lot better. Uh, next time I plan on making fish uh -huh. cooking clean <coughs> excuse me well, you <coughs> i'll make sure i got beer this. yeah okay. well we passed like 37 gas stations i could have got a beer and then yeah. i was like that's okay right, so okay so you want me to hold I'm, your camera for you or you got it so i'm gonna try it maybe it smells good it smells like fish <laughs> well i hope it don't smell like shrimp Bad. This is mangrove snapper. Uh huh. It's Red snapper's better, but I think that's pretty good. Yeah, you yeah. like it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's good. Oh, All right, yeah. let me. I'll get me a bite of that. Okay. Here's your okay. camera back. What'd you put in there? Because I didn't film that part. Crap. Um, lemon pepper. Uh huh. <coughs> Zatarain's crab oil. Uh huh. <coughs> sea salt. Uh-huh. Lowry seasoned salt and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Alright, so let me get a bite of this. Oh, good. We'll try. I've never had snapper. No. <laughs> I don't think I have either. Mm-mm. I mean my first time. Pretty good. It's your first time having a snapper? Mm -hmm. Fresh caught. Now the one I caught. I don't know if it would have been legal. If it if it was, it would have just been barely. Yeah. It was a little bit smaller than this one. Uh -huh. This one was 13 inches. So. And what is it, 11 inch? On a, yeah. So let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Monkey uh, almost brought in something at our first place, was it? Yeah. She said it was all red, so I'm thinking it was a red snapper. It might have been. That's all I saw was red, and it came off my mm. hook. Wow. Isn't that good? That's nice. Mmm, very good. It would have been better if I made my beer batter and if we had a little bit of lemon. Other than that, man, that That's is phenomenal. Nice. Awesome. I like that. So if we ever get any, we're going to bring them home. If you can see her face, she's going to... Do again. <laughs> Alright, guys, so that's our day of fishing. Yeah, that's very good. I like that. When I got a wound, yeah, my we whole have to hand is it. still sore. It's... When you get horned by a catfish, and they don't sting like everybody says. They don't sting you. All right. Like a bee. Mm -hmm. What they do is they hook you with them barbs, and mm -hmm. there is a little bit of poison that comes out. All right. But let me tell you, it's this, that initial, it's just like. He's, he's stuck like you, like yeah, glue. Yeah, well, their, mean, their barbs kind of hook. Huh. Yeah. So when they horn you, it's just like stabbing a nail into you. Yeah. And uh, it really, the only way a hook's a lot better if you get hooked because then you can pull it through, right? And then cut the point off and then pull it back out. No big deal because you know they're thin too, these yeah. barbs are thick, yeah. And the only way to get these out without going to the emergency room and having cut it out, which <laughs> what they're going to do, the same thing, yank it out. That's all you can do, yeah. 
So, my yeah. whole hand is still sore from it. It's 10 times worse than a bee sting, any bee sting I've ever well, gotten. I don't know what a bee sting is like. So a wasp? It's not fine. Uh -uh. It's not fine? It's no fun. <laughs> nope, not at all. All right, so that's our fishing trip. Yeah. I'm going to say Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, and Legend. I'm going, thanks for watching. I'm talking to her camera as well, guys. So, yep. thanks for watching, monkeys people. Monkey people. Monkey oh. people. And we're, I'm going to eat some of this fish. Yep. I'm sure she's going to eat some. I'm going to give some to mom and try it. Let her try it. If her mom likes it. <laughs> I think it, I'm just going to say we'll see if mom likes it. So, we're going to give some to mom. Yeah. Uh, she likes fish, so we're going to see how she likes it. And uh, I didn't overdo it on the salt. I usually put a lot more salt stuff, but her mom's doctor said she needed to cut down <coughs> on the salt. She didn't say quit, but she said cut down. So I've been kind of uh, very lightly salting things when I cook it. And then that way, if I, I like a lot more salt, I usually salt it afterwards anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I'm trying to cut down on the salt and sugar for anything that I make for them too, so... Especially the salt now for her mom, so. Yeah. So that way it'll be healthier. So anyway, Shea Bear to Myth Man Legend, I'm gone for now. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, guys.